What's up, Jilly from Coding Quick Tips, and today I will show you the basic circle circle collision. So, what are circle circle collisions? It's basically a method to detect if two circles are touching or overlapping each other. Uh, this will help us with our game mechanics because we can detect things like if a bullet hit an enemy or yeah, all stuff like that. To do this, we will need two circles in our slick coordinate system with the origin on the left top corner. I have drawn two circles here and to detect if they are colliding with each other, we will need their um, middle coordinates and their radius. As a first step, we will need to calculate the distance between the two circles. To do this, we can simply draw an triangle and then we can calculate the delta x which is this part of the triangle and the delta y which is this part of the triangle. Through this we can use some mass, you may know it, <laughs> and you can use it to calculate the distance d and we can just say the distance multiplied with itself equals the delta x multiplied with itself plus the delta y multiplied with itself. Um, but why should we calculate the distance? So if we take a look at the special case here, when the two circles are exactly um, touching each other, we will notice that the distance of the circles is the radius of circle 1 plus the radius of circle 2. And now we can say if our um, distance that we calculated is lower than this distance, we know that the circles are colliding with each other. So we can just say if t multiplied with itself, what we have calculated here, is smaller than the radius of the first circle plus the radius of the second circle multiplied with itself, then our circles are colliding. To implement this in our program, we will need to add a second circle. So I'll just create second coordinates, private flat x2 and y2. And I will set them to any value, let's say 100, 100. Um, okay. And I will draw a 2. So I'll just reuse the first image to draw two circles. Okay, here we go. And to move the first circle around, I will just set its coordinates to where our mouse is. So I will say input equals. So I will just get some basic stuff to give you an example of the collisions. Um, x equals e dot. Uh, okay, y equals e dot. Okay, so there we go. Now we have two circles, and now we want to detect if the first circle hits the second. To do this, we do exactly what I've mentioned in the yeah, in the picture. We calculate the distance, so flat d equals the delta of the x, so x minus x2 multiplied with itself. And here you notice that it won't um, change anything if x is greater than x2 or the other way around, because if the uh, result is negative, uh, it will be positive because it will be multiplied with itself. So we just calculate the distance multiplied with itself. That's y minus y2 
multiplied with itself. So here we have um, here we have calculated the distance multiplied with itself. So d multiplied with d, and as the next step, we will need to calculate the radius of the first plus the radius of the second circle multiplied with itself. So let's call it, let's say, target distance, and that will be. In my case, the picture is has a radius of 50, or the ball in the picture has a radius of 50, and the second two, so 50 plus 50 multiplied with 50 plus 50. So now we have everything we need, and the both circles uh, collide if the D is smaller than the target D. So if D is smaller than target D, then we can do something special. So I'll just set the position of the se second image new. So x2 equals, let's say, 500, and y2 equals 502. Now we should be able to see that if we hit it, it moves down here. Um, here we can actually create a first little game, so I'll just create me and random here. And then, okay. And then I'll just set uh, next end, I think. Yep. And the x goes from 0 to 500, I think, and the y should go from... Uh, no, the y goes to 500 and the x to 700. And now the position of our first image here is always new set if it collides with our second image. So here we have actually created a little game where we can catch the ball. Um, you can use this collision detection in every kind of game, as I mentioned before, for example for bullets with player collision or for player with enemy collision. So it's some very basic stuff and you can use this in every, every game framework because it won't ma matter which framework you're using because the circle circle collision will always work. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.